I thought I would take you along on some updates we've been doing around our house in our living room. As you can see right here, we're finishing this up, but let me take you back to about three weeks ago when we started this project. We had been planning to replace this window and replace the large slider door that is in this living room for quite a while. It's very loud in the house. This window was in terrible condition. The window barely opened and there was a lot of air getting through it. It was not insulated and just was a very cheap window to start with. So we definitely wanted to replace that. And then we realized we did not want a door anymore in this room, so that had to go as well. please. <laughs> so what's your fire escape plan in your house? <laughs> Projects always seem to take way longer than I think they should, but Grant has a pretty good idea of how long things are going to take and he always sets me straight. He had three weeks off after my baby Levi was born and we decided that would be a great time to do this project since he was going to be home anyways although it did make for a lot of noise in the house and a lot of mess. And this window is about to go in. First week Levi's home and we are taking out the <laughs> the doors and the window. We got grandma on hose duty. <laughs> Nobody winds up the hose, they just leave it on. We wait for you to come. These doors are gonna go, they're gonna turn into a window. And I cannot wait. So we'll have, this is where we put in the new door and this is where the old door was and that's what's gonna turn into a window. Luckily my parents were here to help with this project so even though Grant could do almost all of it by himself, it was a lot easier to have them help put the windows in and take the big sliding door out and also to have the help with my boys as I had just brought home Levi and all this chaos was going on. So it was just a giant help to have them there. They started by putting in the largest window first before taking out the glass sliding doors and that way one full section would be complete to a degree before starting the next section. These old glass sliding doors were extremely dangerous. They are not tempered glass and they were had metal frames which were very hard to get out and because there was no wiggle room, they had to actually take the side of the metal frame off of the glass just to get it out and then put it back on. It was really scary watching them do this because one wrong move and the whole thing could have shattered and that was another reason why I wanted to get rid of these sliding doors because they are so unsafe.
So we removed these doors today, as you would have seen, and it's now nighttime. <laughs> and this is as far as Grant got with installing this bottom part and this middle part. And then he's just going to put up some tarps for the night and start again tomorrow. I set this little area up like this with the table being small and turned the rug around. Just moved everything into here so we had a place to hang out while this room is completely under construction. <laughs> That room is going to stay looking like that for a little while because we do want to hire a professional painter to come and spray paint the room inside because we ran into some difficulty the last time we tried spray painting and we just want it to be done right and exactly how we like it, especially the type of finish Grant is using. The wood finish is a type that must be sprayed. If not, you will see all of the strokes marks and the roll marks with the paint so we want to get it done right so what do you call these these uh, cripples in other countries they call it a jack stud And just like that, we went from having a door here to having a closed in wall, which I just find amazing, I guess, because I don't know how to do this myself, but watching something get transformed like this is so interesting to me. And I'm always amazed what he knows how to do since I don't get to see him work very often unless he's working at home. But then my dad and Grant were putting this window in and we decided to go with two separate windows with a little bit of a divide in between. And as a side note here, we did order these windows a long time ago. Months ago, we ordered these windows because we knew that everything has been delayed and backlogged. So when these finally came in, which took a few months after we ordered them, we had them stored in our garage until we could get around to doing this project. So we did have to think ahead a little bit on this one and get it all set up on how we were going to do it and then order everything ahead of time. Whenever possible, Grant likes to try to include the boys and teach them a little bit here and there about what he's doing and try to get them interested or just teach them a little bit about what he knows with woodworking and projects. If you're interested in woodworking projects and before and after projects around our house and anything to do with building, check out Grant's channel, Wood Glue. I will have it linked down below. So if you're interested, you can stop by there and subscribe and check it out.
And as if this wasn't a big enough project already, we then decided to take everything out of this room and rip down all of the drywall inside the room so we could properly insulate it and really soundproof this room and hopefully make it warmer in the winter and cooler in the summer. And this is just the first step into trying to insulate this house a little bit more because nowhere in this house is insulated besides the attic and even then it doesn't really help all that much. So we're trying to do our best to insulate with every project we do. And after three weeks of having this room without anyone going in it, we finally pulled that plastic down and it felt great to be able to use this room again. And now we are just going to be waiting to get it painted and fix the floor. This is where we are out here now. We had a light that was way lower. We took it out, Grant rewired it and patched that hole. And now it matches the other light on that side. Down here, we still have to paint that white. Then as you come around here, Grant has just finished all of the stucco around this window and framing it. And now he painted it with, primed it. primed it. As you can see, we're almost done with this project. All we have to do are a few more steps inside. And since we've come this far, we just want to finish the whole thing. We will be adding carpet in to that living room and everything outside is finished except for adding a light and finishing up some painting that we need to do out here. And also having it painted, we decided we we're going to get it painted by painters so we can just get it done quickly. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button to see more about our fixer upper and our simple living lifestyle.